with somebody having something to do with this yeah. fight tonight. We'll, we'll, we'll cooperate before we need a manager here. ASAP on this cell phone, 641-5855. Hi. We've already got mall security asking us to move to the sidewalk. Uh, I guess Danita Naylor called them ahead of time for some kind of permission to cover this and it let the cat out of the bag, so we're here. Um, we'd kind of like to see management before we move to the sidewalk, but they seem pretty adamant that we're going to move. So either way, if we have to move to the sidewalk, that's what we're going to do. But uh, we're going to need some kind of management official here tonight to uh, to deal with this. That's that's where we're at. Where are you at? What's that other flag up there? I don't that. Um, right, it's the state we're flag we're and I believe uh, the city of Warwick yeah. flag. Oh, okay. And um, the United Nations openly declaring they want to end Ameri the American Constitution, dissolve our Constitution. Well, we, we know this guy well. The United Nations oh. already owns this country anyway. Yep. They own this, it. This is Dan, yeah. by the way. Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> Dave, Dave. Dan. <laughs> okay. I mean, is it, it is a customary to fly your own colors on a conquered nation? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. There's always a manager on duty. I mean, like the corporation, the United yep. States, was ceded to the United Nations. Yeah. Bill Clinton, when made. he was in office, he signed the sovereignty of the United States over to the UN. Oh, yeah. Well, eventually you got to take the velvet glove off the male fist, don't you? Yep. <laughs> the velvet glove does not always hide the iron <laughs> fist. Once it slaps you a couple times, you realize it's not all velvet. Well, it's a little threadbare. Well, the United Nations has formed seven different organizations that call for what they call the World Parliament. That's supposed to override our Constitution and throw it out without any, without you know, any process by our, our our legislature. I mean, that's that's war on the United States. This is a flag of conquest. Yep. Yeah. And I'm sorry that Mr. Arabedian, you know, Mr. Garabedian agrees with globalism, but we don't. And I don't think the rest of the customers for the mall would either, once they realize the scope and the meaning of this flag. Absolutely, and it's about time this doesn't get uh, overlooked really again. Mall security on it, so I'm trying to dance around it and see if they want to see management first. But I'm here outside the food court the mall with two other people, the Providence Journal. How's it going? So we'll put the uh, uniforms over here when I saw you with the cameras. Well, the, um, right the, the, the Pojo, uh, I guess, called for permission to be here, and they let the cat out of the bag, so and they already knew ahead of time we were coming. The Pojo was going to be here? Yeah, she's right there, the one in um, green. Oh, this guy looks like one of those subversive troublemakers, you can tell. Oh, yeah. no. Sunglasses and a thing on his head. What's up, man? What's up, my guys? What's happening? How you doing? Okay. Dan, nice to meet you, man. Good to see you. How are you? Can I go get my flag? You, well, you got a Gaddison flag? You could. He's got a blotted out United Nations flag. Oh, hell yeah. We'll go get escorted right away off the land. They already, they already tried. I tried to extend it as long as possible with reason, saying that we're customers. What's your name? David. David, what's your name? Bobby. Bobby. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Good to meet you. This is Dan. Dan, how are you, Dan? Not bad. These guys missed um, the 9-11 protest last Saturday. We had a 9-11 awareness rally in downtown Providence. How did that go? Oh, pretty good. That old lady's with us. Is she? Her name's Lily. Oh, okay. Look at this guy, too. Hey, how are you? Yes. What's going on, Bob? What's going on, man? I'm Dan. Dan, nice to see you. Hi, Dan. How are you? Very good to see you. Hello. I'm Lillian Dale. Nice to meet you. Part of the Tea Party group. Awesome. God bless you. What Tea Party do you remember? Oh, golly. We were the Blackfield Valley Tea Party that Oh, I. you going to the meeting tonight? No, I'm not. I'm going to the fashion show at 19th Hole. I've seen you at the Tea Party meeting. I go the one in the Cumberland Library. I've been there. Yeah. Because we, we uh, what do you call it, spun off Cumberland, Pawtucket, North Providence, Northwest Tea Party, Warwick Tea Party. We spun them all off. Oh, good. Starting in February. So Fellow Tea Party. Yeah. Nice well, to meet you, man. Del Papa. Good to meet you. And you too. Of I, I heard Mule. about this, and who, who put it up there? Uh, uh, the owner? G yeah, the owner, yeah. The Greek? Gambini, whatever his name is. Uh, the owner's name? What's his name? So for for uh, the mall, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is it Garabini? Garabini, yeah. Garabini yeah. 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 Now, is he a UN guy? In other words, he must favor the UN. 
Because yeah, he said he believes in diversity. I talked to him on the well, phone. Well, you know, the right. UN has done a lot of damage. At this point, all police yeah. are here. Yeah, Aaron Garabedian has made the request for us to move to the sidewalk. Well, police has made the request for us to move to the sidewalk and all security. We're going to move to the sidewalk. Over there? Okay. That's fine. Yeah. No yep. problem. That's fine. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, anywhere in the sidewalk. I got Garabedian's phone number in my pocket. How it was we already knew this was going to work. Yeah. I'm an easygoing guy. I don't know. <laughs> Well, thank you, you for you cooperation, sir. Happen, so. you're, yeah. a, you're a good man. Thank you. Just, all right. All right. <laughs> thank you. Hey, take care, man. Yep, you too. Thank you, guys. Mr. Nice. Warwick Moore. Now, bro, now, Adam, how did, the, how, did the, uh, how did security come onto the scene? As soon as I started walking across the parking lot with my gear, that whole security vehicle with one officer, he's standing over there in a white shirt, approached me and asked me if I was here for the protest. I said, it's no protest. We're here for the removal of the United Nations flag, the global government flag from the Walled Mall on our soil. That's why I didn't say that. Where do we have to but go? <laughs> that, was, that was for a thing. How far do we have to go? Oh, yeah. thank you, sir. So what's going on, guys? That, um, the flag right there, yeah. I mean, as a citizen of this country and everything, the United Nations flag is like hanging a Nazi flag up on... It's, it's kind of the equivalent for people who know what the global tyranny is all about. And, yeah. you know, right after the flood, you know, a, a school mom that we know saw this flag. Yeah. It went out on Facebook, and people are like, "What? Well, this is what we're fighting against. This is why the Tea Party came... I mean, that flag is just another mask on the face of the bankers who were prepared. Basically overriding our constitution. No, understandable. But, I mean, you yeah. have every right to, you know, express your freedom of speech without mm -hmm. question. I mean, I'm sure that the, the lieutenant there from the mall security, yeah, yeah, nice guy. You know, very private property. We know so, it's private yeah. property, it's, but it's, you know, it's, it's our duty. Oh, without no question. Well, at least, yeah, yeah. And I'm not in, in any way. Am I trying to prevent that at all? I just okay. wanted to, yeah. you know, let you guys something? know, you know, within legal parameters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to go. You know, on the, uh, well, the sidewalk. We are, we are going to walk on the sidewalk. Yeah. We're not going to be going quickly. I think. They said that management's not going to come answer for this, but I had their number in my pocket, so we're here until yeah, I at least... It, I, I, I forget who the, who's running the, the mall now. I think they changed the managerial position. Yeah, Aaron Garabini is the guy. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a gentleman, I think, that's in, that they put in charge of... Is yeah. we, we, know, we know all their names, and we're hoping at least Aaron will yeah, yeah, no, I just want to provide you guys as much information as okay. I can. Okay. All right. Can I provide you with information? Sure. Okay. Are you aware of what's happened in Arizona? I am not. The federal government? Obama's administration has sued the state of Arizona because really? it, has, it has written a, a, a law that anyone who is an illegal alien can be picked up by the police in That's Arizona. That's just one small issue involving That's one small this. issue. Wow. However, the problem is now that the, the President Obama has reported to the United Nations 32, <laughs> I think, other states who are passing the same law. And so, therefore, what he wants the UN to do, he said, is to investigate human rights abuses in those states. That's, right? that's just a okay. Said, yes. Yeah. The, the law from the federal, the federal government, the federal law, I'm sorry, is exactly like the Arizona. Let's turn around. The that's Arizona right. law copies the federal law. And so the federal government is suing the, the Arizona. <laughs> However, what I want to say is, President Obama has asked the UN to investigate human rights. In all these states, yeah. and they okay. have sovereignty. Do you know what sovereignty means yes, in America? Okay. And they're coming into the United States to investigate whether we have abused human beings in the United States mm -hmm. and overrunning our sovereignty? Yeah. No, understandable. No, and I, just said, I just wanted to let you guys right. know. See what, this flag you know. here. Yeah, and the UN's yeah. openly declaring they want to end the Constitution. They want to dissolve it. They want to take our gun yeah. rights yeah. away. Website, First Amendment. The plan state. Yep. It's, their, it's, it's their initiative yeah. to one world, the new world order. order. The United yeah. States. No, yeah, Could you um, right, tell Mr. Garabini to, uh, we need to see him as paying customers of this mall? Yeah, we'd like to we see need to see him out there. This time, okay? Just yeah, but he needs to make himself available. Today, well, understandable, guys. Okay. I mean, he, okay. he, you know, he has every right yeah, to see anyone. You know, he doesn't okay. have to speak yeah. property. All right. All right, guys. All right, thank, All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for cooperation. Yeah, thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. I think the sidewalk they wanted us to go to was the one on the border of Massachusetts. Well, you might Good job, man. That a few of the, well, you know, it, you know, you know, in one world, that's what it was in their child. <laughs> I just, and this come about. Come up with a really good idea. No, but uh, they, uh, they ought to live. See, the public doesn't know that the UN is going to be asked to come in and investigate the United States. Yep. The human rights abuses? Ridiculous. By the way, when I went to, um, 
Uh, what's his name? Uh, J John Laughlin. I'm working for him at his headquarters, you know, in the phone bank. And, yep. and he, uh, I asked him about that. He had a news ready already. He said, the UN is not going to come into the United States if I have anything to do with it if I go to Congress. Good. Because every state is a sovereign state. They have no right to come investigate the sovereignty of any state of the United States. <laughs> we figured all this was going to happen. Say no to the new world order, baby. If people want to see the flag of that mysterious global government, that's yeah. it. And you can quote John Walker. He said, no, you have to come into the United States. <laughs> yes. Also, it's the 14th Amendment. So is that's yep. what I was telling you about last week yep. there. Which I have proof from our state archives that it was ratified and recognized by the state of Rhode Island, even though they did not ratify So, Adam. Adam, did right you say across the street? Just yell. Do you all know Mr. Garabedian? He's. You said he's going to a United Nations meeting this weekend. We don't know. There's a United Nations meeting of some sort in New York. Mr. Garabedian's company, that he is a director of, at $127,000 average a year. Uh, it's a vitamin and food supplement, uh, health supplement company that's also based in New York. So we can only imagine while he's doing business in New York, and he's such a big fan of the UN. It's our assumption that he's going to attend this United Nations meeting in New York. I hope he knows uh, what's going on uh, is going to affect his company. They want to ban over-the-counter sales of vitamins and natural herbs. I don't think he realizes that or he would not fly this flag. He needs to know about Codex Alimentarius, which is an invention of the UN, which would undermine the free trade rights of that company, which he is Wasn't that signed of. into effect by Bill Clinton, I believe? Codex Alimentarius. Yeah, yeah. It was signed into effect and will be put into effect as executive order next month by President Obama. Unbelievable. Say no to the UN. You pull the UN, get out of here. Then you're for slavery. It's all right. He's got an NRA sticker on the back of his truck. <laughs> so please, he has How does that work out? What kind of moron? <laughs> Say no to the United Nations. They're in the with the country. Yeah. That's right. Hey. Say no to drugs, too. Hey, <laughs> that guy had an NRA sticker on the back of his truck, and he says he likes the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> I should have gone right out into some of it. You know what I mean? How does that make any sense? <laughs> no, maybe it's not his truck. <laughs> no, you won! 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 Save America! Constitution, that's a solution. No, you Take won. the UN down! No, you won! No, you won! No, you won! No, the United Nations flag's gotta go! Take down the UN flag! Take the UN flag down! Hey, you know when the people go in the mall, they say, what are those people standing out front? They had to ask me questions in there. Do you know you got a bunch of people? No to the UN! No to the UN! No to the UN! Dave is a patsy right away. He showed up. Say no to the United Nations! Save America! The UN is not honor the U.S. Constitution! Say no to the UN! Yeah! No UN! No UN! Say no to the United Nations! The United Nations wants to kill your sovereignty. About the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Save the Constitution. <laughs> Some people do that. Fair trade, not free trade. Fair trade, not free trade. We don't have that. Wow, I go into these, I go into these, I should, should have brought some, uh, it's, it's all about, it's all, man. it's all about defending the Constitution. America is. America is patriots. Um, we get, uh, complaints, apparently, of you guys, uh, stepping in front of cars or whatnot.